Hey everybody, my name is Jason and welcome to another Babylon video. Today we're going to be diving even deeper in to our pirate fort by adding smoke bursts out of the end of the cannon. And those are all going to be particles created inside of Babylon. If you haven't already had a chance to do so, please check out David's three videos on the brand new particle editor. You can find links for the for those in the description down below of this video. And those videos are awesome and precursors to this one where you're going to want to understand what the particle editor is, how to create particle systems in the inspector, and then how to call them using the snippet server. Awesome, awesome tools. Encourage you to go check those out. I'm not going to go super, super deep in this video on into those subjects. However, I did use the particle editor to create what you're going to see here today. So without any further ado, let's jump right on in. This is our pirate fort. I can click on a cannon now and check this out. I've got a smoke burst popping out of every single cannon. And again, that's all particles all created in Babylon. So I want to show you how I did that because there's a couple of little things that are little gotchas that you may want to know about. The first is, let's open up our particle system here in the inspector. If I go ahead and start that, you can see, boom, it plays right out of the end. Now, it's cool that it's shooting right out of the end. However, particle systems in Babylon, especially this one with the cone emitter here, uh, I have this emitter that's a cone. Now, the cone always shoots up. You can't actually aim the particle system itself, which means you have to get a little clever in, if you want to actually point it in a certain direction, which I did in this, uh, in this demo. So what I've done here, let's check a look, uh, take a look at the code and check this out. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm loading in the particle system from the snippet server. Now, if you don't know how to do this or you've never done it before, you basically create a particle system here in the inspector and hit this save to snippet server where it's going to give you a snippet ID. And you can see that right here. And then what I'm going to do is load that with this bit of code. And if you want a little cheat sheet on how to get that piece of code, don't forget about our playground templates. This awesome feature lets you hit control and space to bring up a whole bunch of awesome, helpful code templates, including a couple of new ones to load a CPU particle system from the snippet server and a GPU particle system from the snippet server. And so if you click on this CPU particles, because that's what I want to load here, it gives you everything that you need. You can just literally copy and paste this uh, snippet bit right here, this like snippet ID, and you can put it right into Bam, just like that, and you're ready to go and load it up. And so that's what I've done here for uh, this bit of code. So I'm loading in the particle system that I've created. And then check this out. I'm creating a box, just a generic box. I'm giving it a certain size, and then I'm positioning the box and rotating the box to be right in the muzzle of the cannon. And the reason I'm doing that, you'll see here in a second, is, by the way, I'm setting the, the visibility of the box to, to off. I can actually turn that back on very easily because uh, here's the box. I can just turn that right back on. Now, what I'm doing, though, is I am going to check this out. I'm going to set the parent of that box to be the cannon. So if I hit play here, you can actually see that the box is parented, right? It's parented to the cannon and it's turned off. Now, the next part is the part that's the little trick. I am then going to tell the system, the particle system, that the emission point, the emitter of that system should be that box. So now I can position that box and aim it wherever I want, and the particle system, because it's basically parented to it, will follow suit. And so that is the little trick on how I got the particle system to shoot out of the muzzle of the cannon. And so it, when you end up with this, uh, you turn the box off, you have this awesome little burst that looks like it's just coming right out of the cannon, but it's actually coming out of that little box. Okay, so let's go look at it in the actual demo here in the code. So what I'm, uh, what I have here is this same thing we just looked at, okay? I'm creating a box. I'm calling it particle emitter. I'm giving it the same position and rotation. I'm setting its visibility to false. And now this part, you'll have to remember back to our first video on the Pirate Fort, which I'll also link, uh, put a link down to, in the in, link out to in the description down below. Sorry about that. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm loading in this cannon as a template cannon, and I'm doing everything to this cannon, cloning it 10 times, and then I'm throwing away the original cannon. 
that I've copied from, okay? So you don't actually see it, but the cannon originally was right down here underneath the fort, but I get rid of it and I'll show you that in a second. So I take this uh, particle emitter, which is the box, I set it to false, and then I'm going to set its parent to be the original cast iron cannon piece, okay? Just like you saw in the other playground with the regular cannon. Then I'm going to load in the uh, particle system, the smoke blast particle system. I'm going to then set the emitter to be that particle emission box, the particle emitter box, and I'm going to uh, create a stop duration because I want that particle to just burst out for a second and then stop. And that's what uh, this bit of code does. Okay, so let's keep on going. The uh, Here, this is where I'm actually getting rid of disposing the cannon, the original, or cannon, the original animation group, and the original smoke blast. Because as I loop through here and create 10 different clones of my cannon, the cool thing is, is that if you clone a mesh, that is used as an emitter for a particle system, in Babylon, we'll clone the particle system as well. So when I clone this cannon, I'm cloning the box, the invisible box sitting in the muzzle of the cannon. And because I have uh, the that box as the emitter for the particle system, I now have 10 different particle system clones from the original, okay? But then I have to be able to sort out which particle system I need to be able to fire based on which cannon was selected. And so that's then when we start to modify our on pointer down function here, okay? But before I do, I am going to gather all of the particle systems in the scene. Remember, I have 10 of them at this point, and I can show you that here in our inspector. Let me load that up. So here's the inspector and there are our 10 particle systems. And so I don't know which one is associated with which cannon. So I don't know which one I should hit play on based on the mesh that's selected. So I'm gonna figure that out. So the first thing is I'm gonna say, hey, give me all the particle systems in the scene and set those equal to this variable. Then I'm gonna just go turn them all off. Just make sure they're all off. Make sure it's all nice and clean and ready to go for our selection, okay? So uh, this should all look familiar from the first video, but here I've added in a bit more logic to be able to sort through and figure out which particle system I should play based on which cannon was selected. And the way that we're gonna do that is, remember, we're already in a loop based on the picked mesh and making sure that I have uh, selected a cannon itself, uh, a mesh that has metadata set to the word cannon, okay? And so what I'm doing next then is I'm going to say, okay, give me all of the meshes, all of the meshes, from the picked mesh, right? So I have the result, which is a picked mesh, and I'm saying get all of the children of it. So whether it's the cast iron cannon or whether it's the um, the cannon mount itself, just give me all of the children. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, let's loop through every particle system in the scene. And when I loop through every particle system, we'll have a second loop that runs and says, uh, was this mesh name equal to the emitter name of that particle system? No, let's do the next mesh. Was this mesh name equal to the uh, mesh emitter name from the particle system? And then it just loops through that until it finds the appropriate match. And if it does find the appropriate match, it actually then just says that particular smoke blast start. And that's how you get the smoke blast out of the cannon itself. How awesome is the pirate fort? It's coming along and I absolutely love it. I hope this has been a bit of an informative uh, video for you on how you can actually rotate, move your particle systems by making their emitter a mesh because then a mesh, of course, you can move around and parent to however you want. So I hope this was a bit helpful. And don't forget to check out the videos on creating particles inside the inspector with the brand new particle editor. I hope you've enjoyed this. There's more to come on the pirate fort. I can't wait to see uh, what you guys want to see me do with this one next, but I've got a couple of ideas of my own. Thank you so much for checking this out and we'll see you next time.